Hi. Hi, I'm Dr. Narendra Kumar Tota. I'm a medical oncologist, hemato oncologist, and bone marrow transplant specialist. Now I'm going to discuss regarding the treatments and cure rates of acute leukemias. So in the starting I said the acute leukemias are majorly two different types that is ALL and AML. For each these of varieties the treatment is different. For AMLs the standard international treatment protocol we use is 7 plus 3 regimen which is given for 7 days and followed by around 21 days for the recovery time. Most of the patients recovery cure rates will be able to know or at least we can estimate after 30 days of treatment. With the latest modality of techniques available which we call as PCR based or flow cytometry technique, we can at least assess by 80% that these patients are going to get the best result or not after 30 days. If the patients have the best result, they will be finishing off with three more cycles of consolidation. Consolidation means we will be improving the result which we have attained in the induction. So after three cycles of therapy for the best result patients, we stop there. And these patients will have cure rates of almost 70 to 80%. And the other group of patients who don't have the good result after the 30 days of therapy based on the flow cytometry or PCR, these patients definitely they need to go for bone marrow transplant. And the other group which I said ALL in expanded form we call it as acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And ALL also there are two varieties B cell and T cell but the treatment is same for the both variants. For these patients, similar to AML, we'll give one month induction and the protocols are wide varieties. In each country, they have their own adopted protocols. Like there is a German protocol, UK LL protocol, COG protocols. So almost all major countries have their own standardized protocols customized for their own countries. In India also, we use the internationally recognized protocols like UKLL protocol, German protocols commonly. Whatever the protocol we use, the end result is same. It is repeatedly proven beyond doubt. So at the end of the 30 days, like in AMLs, we will be checking for the response. If the patients get the best response, we consider as, as a good risk. And if they are getting an intermediate or bad response, we consider as a potential patients for future relapses. So based on these, we change the treatment. If the patient is having the good result after 30 days, then we give remaining part of the treatment, which is approximately around for two years, which contains the consolidation and maintenance phases. And the patients who have intermediate or poor result, these patients will be subsequently given high intensive or high risk protocols and later they will be taken up for the bone marrow transplant. Thank you for watching.